Hey guys, how are you all my friends doing? Cool, I am great indeed. I am so much excited and waiting to hear about you guys as well. So use our comment box. Do comment and tell us about yourself my friends. So what we are going to do today? I know all of my friends are very intelligent and have already seen the thumbnail of today's video and also have already seen the topic so but put your faith over my words my friend that this exciting session will not only make your mind but will also give you something by which or by applying it your modeling technique will enhance abruptly no doubt today's concept will indeed add on to you guys. So before proceeding ahead where towards today's modeling path, I would like to tell you whether it's jetted back to 8K or 3K or even today my friends, the role, the magic of RK always follows upward slope. Remember, by is equal to MX plus C. whatever my friends i would like to tell you something i like this rp very badly so once again what do you think how you feel when we are talking about the rp don't forget to share your feelings your words with us use comment box do comment us so without any further ado let's begin but 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 my friends I'm expecting a favor from your side as well. Do you subscribe our channel? Do you like our channel? Your subscription means your support towards us and your like means your motivation towards us. So give your support and do motivate us. So without any further ado, Let's begin today's modeling of Arkery session. So in front of you guys, we have our full of charm, our Prisma 3D viewport. So let's click over this cube icon on the left side and among the list of cube, sphere, plane cylinder pyramid text go with the plane why let me tell you once it loaded so the plane is in front of you and instead of the color let's click over the texture okay my friends and i have already downloaded a texture of my arrow which I have which I am going to model right now so now I have the arrow the arrow the bow and the arrow text uh, arrow texture in front of me inside the plane so before doing any further operation let's rotate it by 90 degree in the x direction <coughs> sorry my friend so 90 degree and let we scale it by 10 10 in all x by and g so that we can see our bow and arrow very clearly right my friends so let me do it in g direction as well so now we have our bow and arrow in front of us right friend so this is our front view so basically first of all before starting any modeling we have to visualize what shape what primitive shape it resembles most so as per my opinion it's better to use the cylinder for this bow part right 
so click again over the queue and from the list select the cylinder okay so now we have our cylinder in front of us and just rotate it and in the g direction move it little up upward right my friends and also we can see we need to shift it in x direction as well but also at the same time we need it to scale down in the x direction right also scale it down in the y direction and don't forget to scale it in the g direction as well right my friends so now we have our this little cylinder in front of us click over this arrow icon and uh, right and once again I thought we need some little skill down as well okay now it's sufficient in the x direction and do the same in the y direction in the g direction sorry or whatever you like because I don't want it to very big so I'm just scaling down in the x and in the g direction and, and one more thing in today's session we will see the mirror concept right so we are not going to model it completely from down to bottom we are just modeling it in a upward direction and we will use the concept of mirror for the rest downward portion right friends so let's click over this arrow icon again and make our cylinder editable so click over this make editable and now we have our editable cylinder in front of us zoom it so that we can select each and every face of our cylinder otherwise we will be in trouble at that time only so do it carefully my friends select all the faces of our cylinder right and come to come again to front view now we have to extrude it in g direction right friend so click over this extrude icon and extrude it later right friend again extrude it in g direction and now this time we need it to scale it down in x direction right friends so scale it down in x direction and rotate it somewhat and scale it down in the y direction as well because i want it to be some circular in representation all right so click over this arrow icon again and one more thing we need to do we have to rotate it by little amount in the y direction so do you rotate little bit right for rotation we need to check the bow portion right now again i am going to extrude it in g direction right and again scale it little bit not much more but a little bit because we can see it in from the reference image right click over this arrow icon don't forget to click over this arrow icon now again extrude it in g direction right and again we have to scale it in y direction right and also in the 
x direction so we scale it right my friend and again we have to extrude it but you can see we need some more angle so I am just coming here and little bit I am just give it a rotation over in the x direction next click over this arrow icon bring it down so that we can have a good work space for us right friend and click over this extrusion and again extrude it extrude it again we have to scale it down in the y direction and the same we need to do in the x direction otherwise we will lose the geometry so don't forget to do it all together right so again click over this arrow icon and we have to scale it right friend oh, sorry instead of scale we need to do extrude so in this part i extruded it right again what i observe i need some rotation in the g direction so i am just rotate it rotate it rotate it if you face any problem while doing this rotation zoom in and then trying again so that you can achieve you can see right friends now again come to the front view and click over this arrow icon and again do extrude okay friends so we need extrude and also need some in y direction and i thought we also require some scale down in y direction and also in the j direction that seems great up to now right friend so again we need it to rotate 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 so that we can extrude it properly right friend so i thought no it's much more as per our requirements so do some now it seems fine now extrude in g direction again that's great again need to extrude right my friends so do the extrusion part again need to extrude it okay look now the plane also selected so what we have to do we have to simply click over this cylinder oh sorry now select over the cylinder and remove the plane click over this solid cube and again go to the face selection mode and we have already our selected faces so don't worry if it's if such thing happens right friend now again we need to rotate it by a little bit in x direction and now need to extrude it but this time we need scaling in by and when we did it in by so we need to scale in x as well right friends and also i can see we need to shift it in y direction right friends again we need to rotation in x direction so so that we can see and rotate it 
but now we have our rotated face in front of us click over this arrow icon and again we need to extrude it and again we need to extrude it right. but this time I thought little very little we scale down in the right direction and the same in the this direction because it's appro approximately negligible difference when we are when we are observing right friends so again we need to extrude it and once again we need to extrude it right wait here, here. and now we have to again give it an angle so that we can have arc with us now extrude it right man extrude it again and again we need to rotate it right now again extrude it and again we have to give rotation value so, so that we can give rotation And again you need to extrude it in Z direction right friends so do little extrusion instead of much more and we need to again give it We are just going to make an arc so as much you precise you can get this arc so again give a little extrusion in the g direction and again we need to give rotation again extrude it in g direction okay so here we also require some we scale down in the x direction because we are going to narrow part and also do it from the top as well in the b direction as well right friend now again we need to extrude it so before extrusion let's give some more angle so that we can come straight downward so to finalize our extrusion in the upper part and extrude it once more time in g direction right and now scale it down in y direction and in the 
इस डायरेक्शन सो स्केल 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 मेक इट ये शार्प पॉइंट राइट एंड आल्सो स्केल 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 इन बाय डायरेक्शन नो आई थॉट इट्स सफिशिएंट सो नाउ वी हैव आर अपर वो पोर्शन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू apply mirror right so for this particular thing we have to come we have come back to our non editable mode or the solid mode and now we have to rotate it in three direction first so rotate 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 do rotation do rotation so right so check it is everything seems fine okay now come back to the editable part and here second last option this is the mirror option right friends so before applying it just zoom it now select this second option second last option and just we need to select just we need to <coughs> make a line in con in contact with this arrow right so now this is here but we are losing the angle so look we have but with a little issue so we have to resolve this so again we have we are just undo it whatever we did and come to this side in this side view and again just see. minute cap we will cover it and now when you see you will find it as a single object right so again we have to rotate it so that we can be in the earlier view so rotate it rotate it rotate it rotate it by more precision even you can hide this gap in mid but for this particular instance we are not worried because why i will see you right so now we have to use a one more primitive slender as you can check from the reference image and for this just we need it it in the middle right because it is the this it will become as a base for the arrow to lie in the to lie over the bow part so click over this and for the meantime let's move it in x direction right friends and now from here we have to check whether it's in center or not so bring it in the center right so now it's in the center and uh, what's next we have to do pull it little apart okay and now we have to scale it down in the x direction and also in the g direction we are just showing the overlap of the cylinder part right so yes yep by limited amount okay now it seems perfect right uh in the g direction we have to drag it
do it more precisely, friends. Right. Okay. So, before moving ahead, we have to give the name. So, this is basically a bow part. So, click over this render and name it as a bow. And this is the next to this cylinder. This is our bow mid part. I am just naming it as a. And whatever you like, you can know, uh, rename it or give the nomenclature, right? So bows middle. Done. Done. Okay. So what we are going to do again make it editable right friends and so before making it editable what I thought I again went to my solid mode and just scaling down in the y direction ok why I am going to do this I will tell you within a minute so don't worry just right friends and after that I'm going to the editable mode and now I am go to the top view and now I need to select all the faces of this bow middle part so do it carefully because we just want bow middle part selection select all the faces carefully friends right and if by mistake you select other cylinder means the bow part you simply undo it right friends so use the zoom out and zoom in for this particular operation which will ease your life otherwise you will stuck so don't worry again zoom it and now I'm gonna select my last face after selecting this I am again come to my front view it's exciting isn't it so basically what I want to achieve I just want to give it as an expression of a rope or for any thing which cover the outer of this bow part right so what I'm going to do I'm just scaling it in X direction not much more uh, sorry and you before scaling I need to do some okay uh, that's great now after the extrude I am going to give I am going to scale it little bit in the X direction and also in the y direction right friends so why I am going to do this I am you will know very soon within a second by looking our next step again extrude it little bit no, not much more little bit right friends and now scale up in the x direction and in the y direction uh, little bit is yep seems great and now in the y direction as well to be in the symmetry right friends now again i am going to extrude it in g direction 
by little amount not much more oh, yeah. and now again I am going to scale down in x direction right friend and in the y direction let's do it so scale down in x and y and after that again I am going to extrude it in g direction and by little amount not much more right friends F. and again I am scaling it in x direction and also in the y direction right okay and one more loop I would like to give here so again I am extruding it in g direction by little amount not much more by little amount right and again scaling down in x direction right friends and in the y direction it's little bit funny isn't it much more excited much more full of excitement and again I'm going to extrude it in G direction by little amount right friends and again I'm scaling it in X direction and the same high up to in the counterpart means in the Y direction okay look great so this is my bow middle part right so what I'm going to do right now I'm just coming to solid mode and click over this bow mode bow middle in the list and now we have the option of name copy center group and delete so within this I am going to opt the copy option right friend so now I have my copy and nothing to do right now I am just I am I'm just required to rotate in over the G direction by 180 degree right so go on the rotation part click over G direction and write it 180 or minus 180 whatever you want so it's not matter so now we have our up and down in symmetrical right so don't forget before moving ahead we have to make a group so that we can move it all together otherwise we can't so select both parts bow middle and the bow middle copy and make it in a group and click anywhere in the skin and again click over this group and name it as a bow middle group right friends or whatever convention you use you can bow yeah instead of bow middle I thought bow centric suits well bow centric group for group I am just using application GP so now I can easily move up and down if I require or let's I show you so I can move it up and down now even I can translate it in G and the extraction as well so it's very important when you have multiple object you should put it in a group before otherwise you can't move all the objects all together okay friends so now we have our corner parts where we need where we have to use the raw so you can make it but I have a shortcut in my mind so again click anywhere in the viewport and again click over this bow centric group and now again we have to make a copy of this bow centric right so copy it we have the copy in front of us and uh, scale it down in the y direction first of all so scale it down in the y direction and now 
bring it in upward in the by direction where we want to have our rope so wherever we want our rope should have just bring it little upward because i thought this is the better place and again scale little bit in the g direction because we don't want much more dip, uh, space within the y direction right and again we need it to scale down in the x direction right so scale down in x direction and in the g direction as well and after scaling we need it to bring it in the center right guys so bring it in the center okay i was just buried with my reference image <laughs> where it lost but he is here so don't worry okay again scale down in x direction till you don't find it better okay so i thought is sufficient even you can make it down as well no issues so check your preciseness and the requirement and should do it so i thought yep okay friend okay guys so i thought this seems great and now again click anywhere and click over this boost centric a uh, group copy and make another copy of this right friend and pull it little up okay now it seems a great binding of ropes isn't it so and now again we will make a group of this up and down so that we can use it as a object because we have to do in the down portion as well so click select both of these both center copies and put it in a group and click anywhere and click again over the group and name it as a corner upper corner rope group right friends why why i am using upper i will tell you upper corner group right so basically now i have a one object click anywhere and bring up our view port and after that click again over the upper corner and make it make another copy of this and rename it as a instead of upper use down so that because we are because i am going to it in a downward position so also remove this copy because i have a different nomen creature so it will it won't be conflict and after that just bring it downwards that's it seems good up to now and again 
just for the clarity and for the space make a one group of the upper and the corner center so click over this and make a group and again click anywhere again click over this group and name it as a corner so that we can identify when we save it right so corner group okay so friend we have our go in front of us and now we require a rope right so rope is very easy to make why i'm saying so because we just require a cylinder object for this particular task so unselect each and everything and click over this cube icon and again select our cylinder shift in x direction bring it forward and we have to scale it down in x y and z direction right friends so scale it down So instead of point weight, uh, I thought it might be point one five is sufficient, and in the g direction also, I'm okay. I'm going to get point one five, right, friend. So now it's in circular shape and after that I'm just thinking an another approach to make this part. So what I'm thinking right now I'm just pulling it upward right and in the G direction I'm just rotate it by 90 degree. So rotating in G by 90 degree right friend and again even here also you can use the concept of mirror but because for a simplicity and for the understanding purpose I am just using this tactic right friends and now bring it it here come in the side view and move it in the mid of this part right friends so after that we need to scale it down in the by direction as well sorry Right friends, so again move it okay. now after that make it make this first of all let's name it as a boobies. Okay, 
I am just using this convention and you can use whatever you want so now this is in front of us and I have already made it as a edit tip zoom it zoom it because we have to select all the faces so select all the faces very carefully but this is our basic requirement otherwise we will be in trouble ok friends so after this we have to extrude it by little amount in the z direction right friends so come to in the front view and if required just zoom it and extrude by little bit in the g direction not much more by little bit it's much more right so we have to extrude it by little bit and now we have to rotate it right friends so I'm just trying to rotate it much more okay and again need to extrude it we are on the right track right whenever you work in 3d you should check it from all in the 3d so instead of this just click this and again we need to we need to so just check all seems great right now and we need to we need to upward because the rope going to downward and uh, also if you we see okay I thought the width is simply correct or whatever if you think it's not you can scale it down in the x direction right friends so I'm just going to extrude it in by direction in by direction and extruding it again in the right direction And here I'm just right after that extrude it in G direction and again extrude it in here right friends and again extrude it finally right okay check friend I have missed the one coordinate and because of that I have to undo it so that I can correct it but and I have 
Let's select again all these faces. Right. Select all these faces back, and that's why I told you continuously uh, be careful for this type of operation. For this type of operations, otherwise, you have to rework as I am doing right now. So, come to this side and pull this here, right be sure that you are in the side view okay yeah. now I have to rotate it rotate it, rotate it. seems great and again I have to extrude it some more angle okay and extrude in G direction finally to make the okay friends now you can see So almost, <coughs> sorry. So almost our bow part is completed, right? And uh, click over this solid mode. Now you can see we have our bow in front of us. Regarding the rope, you can do more editing. So, but for the time being, I'm just leaving it as. as. And before moving ahead over the arrow part, uh, what I'm just going. I put it in a group so that if I require to move it as an object I can so uh, exclude uh, so just click over this bow bow centric this one simply excluding the plane option and select all the and make it put it in a group part click it anywhere and group and I rename it as a bow bar. So bow. Okay. Before moving ahead, what I thought now it's a good time to save our project. So click over these three dot three dotted and now save it click over this save option I'm gonna save it now, let me name it as a archery model session we have saved it <coughs> next we have our arrow part so clearly we can see for the arrow we have three major parts right one in red one in arrow which is a pointed part and last there is a, some sort of wing out to give a direction so let's start so for this for this thing as well we will use our cylinder first of all
so click over this cube icon and from here go with the cylinder come on cylinder come on okay rotate in g direction by 90 degree okay 90 minus 90 whatever you want <coughs> next bring it in the front right friends and after that I scale down in x direction by I thought 0.15 but it will work greatly yep and in the g direction as well 0.15 or you can do random check mm, 0.15 not so great so instead of 0.15 I thought I should go with 0.25 right because it's a arrow it's an arrow part okay next I need to scale it in y direction click it anywhere click over the cylinder right friend and uh, after that name it as a arrow metal so that we can identify arrow red let me give as per our reference image right and before moving ahead with the pointed part I should wa I want to make the rear part first so for rear part I am again clicking over this cube icon and now I will use plane rotate it by 90 in the x direction Okay, I thought height is approximately similar as per the reference, so we don't require to do any head operation because it's a rough motor right and now zoom it come to the editable part and now we are going to give a look cut in the center remember guys do it in the center okay and select anything come to the vertex mode click over this vertex simply and move it come to the solid okay
doing it in the not in the center exactly why I'm doing so let me tell you the reason come to the place selection select this place simply and then select the below face as well and good Okay friend, what we can do, unlike Blender in Prisma 3D, I forget to tell you, we can't do extrusion part in the plane, so simply click over this plane icon, make it as another copy and after that make one more copy and make one more copy. Select all these copies and put it in a group. To give it a dense look, right? I can select all these print and put it in a group click it sorry click anywhere in the group uh, every port and after this select the group and name it as a wheel so Now we have our wing with us and if required we can translate it in the position where we require or we want to have and after that we have our last part of arrow that is the point part right friends so basically clearly we can see We can use this pyramid here for our purpose. Again, bring um, pull it upward, right front, and need to rotate it in z direction by 90 degree. So rotate it. Rotate, rotate, rotate it by 90 degree. Okay, friend. And after that, we need to translate it to the front part, the position where we want to have. And also, we can scale it. Okay. Click over this, make it in the center. Okay, and 
put it up for a little bit. Now we have our arrow red wing and this pyramid. So again name it as a arrow front. Okay. Done. Put it all in a group so that we can move our arrow anywhere we want. So use a group. Click anywhere in the viewport. Again, click over this group and name it as a arrow. Arrow group. Okay, so now we can see we have our arrow, our bow part, and if we want to move our arrow just above our bow, we can shift it right. So, our next let's we give it a color. So let's start with the arrow itself. So again click over this arrow part and come to this arrow red and I'm simply give it a color of red because I don't have I this time I haven't any texture right now. So I just simply use this red color. Right and if you have any texture you instead of color you can use texture. Next after that uh, I'm going to give color to wing and as we can see there's a black color, uh, black color so give all the plane a black color right so color black then give all the copies black color black color black and in case if you have any texture you can use that texture as well and if you want to scale you can scale it as well right so because we have our group of wing so if you want to scale up you can scale in scale the group instead of a particular thing and there's the benefit of a group so now we have the arrow red wing part with us and next we are going to use the arrow front so for this particular purpose uh, what I, I what I use I will use a texture so click over this texture icon and for this I will use this texture right friends so I'm going to use this texture hey guys first of all let me apologize because uh, due to some memory issues associated with my mobile I got my screen recording app closed but unfortunately I didn't aware with this fact and uh, I did overall with the process of uh, providing texture to my model bow and arrow so I'm sorry for that uh, but don't worry because the model part we have already covered in our in, in that particular session and so here we have our finalized uh, bow and arrow model part so basically uh, let me tell you uh, what type of texture I have used here so basically if I go to the arrow group my arrow group so here my arrow group and for the arrow red part I have used simpler color yellow oh sorry red color and after that I have my this wing part uh, which I have colored it as a black right friends and after that I have my arrow front part 
and for that I have used my texture uh, golden texture let me show you what this texture so that's the texture one go texture dot jpg I used this texture and I after using that uh, I have completed my arrow part right so within this arrow part you can see uh, there's a red color arrow and wing is of black color and the pointed part is of a golden color right friends after completing my this arrow group I came to my bow part and in the bow part I have three things namely the bow part the cover part and the row part and for the for all these I have used the same uh, texture and that texture let me show you for the texture so this is my bow part and for the bow part I used my arrow point texture this one right silver color and after providing this I give it a color this one right so you can see from this color something I thought it's yellow or related with orange what you can see so this is my that part after that I have this bow center and when I click over this I have two parts inside and so you can see I used the same texture of silver texture and used color as a orange color similarly I done for this blue part as well after that I come came to the corner parts did you remember that corner part means the row part right so for the row part I used the same technique but instead of it I gave it a dark uh, orange color or we can say per, uh, brown color so I use the same tech for all the row part and after that I have my finished bow and arrow like that you can see so this is our finalized model part so you can check you can review you can inspect <laughs> So this guys this is our model bow and arrow and in Hindi this is Dhanush Bar which we used to play in our childhood and also this is a I thought Olympic game right so I'm not sure about whether it's whether this archery is played in the Olympic or not so if you know comment and uh, so anyway guys so we have this complete so we have completed this project or this session bow and arrow so tell me how you feel how it looks it pleased you or not and guys please do subscribe to give your support and like the video as well so that we can motivate and uh, very soon we will come with the new either with a new model modeling or with a animation so till i hope you all enjoy this session and uh, give your best to the modeling keep trying practicing because practice makes men better so definitely one day you will be a world class model or animator so with this hope with this pray to almighty let me say bye bye for now and we will meet soon thanks guys have a good day to all of you but please do subscribe and share for us this is my humble request to all of you guys thanks bye bye